You know, scientists claim that the way your brain perceives and analyzes information can reveal a lot about your personality. Look at each of these optical illusions for a couple of seconds. What you see first can say a lot about who you are. Number 1. If the first thing you saw was a tree, you tend to pay too much attention to details, but you're great at feeling the mood of other people. It makes you a tactful and empathetic person. And if you spotted a couple facing each other, you're logical, calm, and rational. You know how to reason with people, even when they're upset or nervous. Number 2. If you saw a car in this picture, you treasure your freedom. You like it when things go according to your plan. That's why it's often hard for you to make fast decisions. If you thought it was a man holding binoculars, you don't usually pay too much attention to details. Instead, you focus on the big picture. But maybe you notice the letter A first. Then you have a rare ability to spot things other people miss. You're extremely intuitive and can think outside the box. Numero tres. If the first thing you see in the picture is two thumbs, you're a great leader and an excellent organizer. You're ready to take responsibility, and you understand what consequences your actions will have. And if you spotted an eruption, you have an altruistic personality. You're interested in people and want to help them. And here's number four. If it's a monkey you notice first, that's my picture. No, actually, you're an independent person. It's crucial for you to have some personal space. If you saw a tiger, you don't mind taking risks. You believe nothing is impossible if you try hard enough. 5. If the first thing you saw was several trees in front of a sunset, you're very perceptive and easygoing. If you spotted a feline's face, you're a determined person. You always stick to the decisions you make and move toward your goal no matter what. 6. If the first thing you noticed in this image was an outline of a face, you're likely to be an introvert. You don't like noisy parties. They make you feel worn out, both physically and emotionally. If you saw a saxophonist, you're more extroverted. You love socializing, and people fall all over themselves to make friends with you. But remember to rest and not to burn out. 7. If you only saw some nature in this image, your life is full of different events at the moment. You don't like routine, choosing to mix up your activities. This way, you'll never do the same stuff several days in a row. If you noticed a face hidden in this image, it's facing the bottom of the frame. You're an organized person. You find it hard to live without a plan. It makes you feel unsafe. 8. If you saw zebras more clearly, you love talking and enjoy being surrounded by people. Making new acquaintances is your hobby. You don't like following boring routines. If it was a lion that stood out in the image, you prefer a calmer lifestyle. You'd rather spend some quality time with your few trusted friends and your family. Having too many people around drains your energy, which makes you avoid crowded places. 9. If you saw a face in this image, you're approachable and laid back. People feel that you care. That's why they often unload their problems on you. But maybe the first thing you paid attention to was someone waving a magic wand at a kneeling figure. Then you're an ambitious person. Whatever you do, you gotta do it better than others. 10. If it was a cat that stood out in the image, you probably don't like changes. People know they can rely on you. At the same time, you tend to keep your feelings and emotions in check. If you saw a face, you're a creative person. You love learning new things. And your intuition helps you find opportunities literally everywhere. If the first thing that jumped out at you was a cliff, you can tackle pretty much any problem. All thanks to your positive outlook on life. Number 11. Is it a large, serious cat in the image? Then you're a realist when it comes to life. You see the big picture, and it helps you deal with problems. But if it's a mouse that caught your attention, you're an optimist. You try to find something positive in any situation. 
and in most cases, you succeed. 12. If you saw a woman's face in this picture, you often rely on your intuition, and it doesn't usually let you down. You're also attentive to what's happening in the world around you. But what if you focused on flowers? Then you're someone who often feels the need to slow down and relax in nature. 13. If a cute round face was what you noticed first, you're a sensitive and friendly person. You don't like conflicts and try to deal with disagreements in a peaceful way. If you paid attention to two birds, you're cheerful and outgoing. You love meeting new people. 14. If you saw an elephant, you're loyal to your friends and respectful to your family. People like your friendly and considerate personality. They also appreciate what a great listener you are. If you paid attention to a small village, you're quite traditional. You prefer a peaceful and simple lifestyle over a city bustle. 15. If it was the pillars that attracted your attention, you value comfort and security. It can be hard for you to break out of your comfort zone. If the image of two people popped out at you, your life is never dull. Curious and adventurous, you're ready to change your surroundings at the drop of a hat. So, somebody drop a hat. Whoops, there you go. 16. If you noticed a woman first, you have an analytical and thoughtful mind. You tend to be practical, which some people mistake for being cold-hearted. If you first saw an old man, you have a sensitive and compassionate personality. You're also creative and artistic. 17. Did you see two crocodiles facing each other? Then you always try to be in control of every situation in your life. If you noticed a bird first, you don't mind following instructions coming from other people. It doesn't mean you don't have your own opinion, but you're always ready to find a middle ground. 18. If you paid attention to a lady's face first, your brain's right hemisphere is developed better than the left one. You're an artistic person with high emotional intelligence. And if you saw a man playing the saxophone, your left brain Logic is your strong suit. You excel at analytical thinking and numbers. 19. If you first spotted a crocodile, you're likely quite practical and prefer to avoid risks. Sometimes, you tend to focus on negative things happening around you. So don't forget to relax and enjoy life. If you noticed a boat with two people in it sailing along the river, you have a great eye for details. You have a creative personality and can find a way out of any tricky situation. 20. If you saw a young woman, you have a joyful and optimistic personality. You perceive things in a positive light, but sometimes you can be too impulsive. If you noticed an old woman first, you have a lot of life experience. It helps you look at all situations from various perspectives. 21. Did you spot a duck first? Quack. Then you're a highly intuitive, creative type with a rich imagination. If the first thing you noticed was a rabbit, you have outstanding analytical skills. You must be great at writing, reading, and figuring out logical solutions to all kinds of problems. 22. If you saw a squirrel, you're great at analyzing things. Your logical thinking helps you process facts and find solutions amazingly fast. If what jumped out at you at first was a duck, your talents are more on the creative side of things. 23. Most people spot a frog in this image right away. If you're one of them, you're self-confident and thus relaxed. You communicate with others in a direct, honest, and sincere way. And if you saw a horse, you're always trying to get to the deeper meaning of things. You have your own opinion, and nothing people say can sway it. 24. If it was a candlestick that attracted your attention first, you usually see a situation as a whole. Only after figuring out the big picture, you spring into action. And if you notice two faces first, you have the ability to concentrate on details. 
it's extremely important for you to surround yourself with positive people and get their support. Right now, you're going to test your observation skills. This test has four levels, and each one's trickier than the last. Find a pen and a piece of paper to write down your score. For each correct answer, you'll get some points. One, if it's the first level. Two, if it's the second one. Three, for the third. And four, for the last one. The results will be at the end of the video. Level one. One. So, how many legs can you see in this picture? Right, there are 12 legs, six wearing dress shoes, and six with high heels. Two. There's an animal in this picture that's trying really hard to blend in. Can you spot it? Aha! It's this piglet, but its nose gives it away. 3. Can you find three animals hidden in this picture? Right, three ducks are hiding among the tree branches. 4. What's wrong with this image? Two moons, really? 5. Can you spot anything strange in this picture? A snake is pretending to be a giraffe here. 6. Just another regular day at the supermarket. Or is it? It would be if the lady on the left wasn't wearing skis. 7. How about this image? Is everything correct here? Not really. There's something wrong with the exit sign. 8. Why is this laundry trip going to end badly? Because who on earth washes white shirts together with red socks? <laughs> Not me. 9. This picture looks weird. But why? The mouse is chasing the cat. Not the other way around. 10. Can you spot the odd image? Yep. It's the sprinkled donut in the corner. Well, that was easy. Okay, I'm up for some challenges now. Level 2 11. Which kitty is different from the rest? This one seems to be more pleased with life than the others. 12. There are four mistakes in this picture. Try to find all of them. Well, let's see. A globe under the sink, a pair of shoes in the cupboard, a shirt instead of the curtains, and a table lamp instead of the faucet. This woman's life must be full of adventures. 13. Can you see two different things in this image? It can be a girl or someone's face. 14. Do you see a deer? A real master of camouflage. 15. Can you find three animals here? I've only got one question. What are rabbits doing up there? 16. There are three things wrong in this picture. Can you spot them all? There's no red light and no rails for the tram. And December 32nd? Seriously? You really want 2020 to last that much longer? 17. Which girl looks different? The one in the right bottom corner. Because it's a boy. 18. Which magician is different from the rest? Yeah, he probably decided to stand out from the crowd by wearing a different cloak. 19. Something is missing in this picture, but what exactly? The sun is bright, but then, where are the camel's shadows? 20. Which emoji is different? Yep, the non-winking one. Okay, not so bad. What's next? Surprise me. Level 3. 21. How many cubes are there in this picture? There are 9 cubes. 22. Can you spot the odd one? Yeah, it looks a bit shorter than the rest. 23. Can you figure out which string is tied to the banana? I bet on the first one, but it's actually number three. 24. How many animals can you see in this picture? There are three foxes. 25. 
Something's wrong with this picture. But what? The pitcher is empty. Where's the milk coming from? 26. Can you read what's written here? It's a mystery. Um, no, no, you, you don't get it. The word is mystery. 27. Which unicorn is different? This one. Because it's a horse, not a unicorn. 28. What's wrong in this picture? The fish doesn't have fins. 29. What's hidden here? A tiny hint, it's alive. Right, it's a giant panda. 30. What can you see in this image? It's either a face or a penguin. Wow, to tell you the truth, that level made me sweat. Level 4. 31. Can you find a snake in this picture? Duh, looks like a tree root to me. 32. What can you see in this image? There are two trees and a woman's head. 33. Can you find the farmer's wife? Here's a hint, she's somewhere nearby. Who would have guessed you could turn the image upside down? 34. The children are sure the astronomer is still in the room, but where can he be hiding? He really didn't want to be found. 35. These geese are in danger. A predator is hiding somewhere in the picture. Wow, almost missed it. How spooky. 36. What's hidden in this picture? It's a big, toothy, scary shark. 37. How many things can you see in this picture? It can be a beggar or it can be a face, depending on your perspective. 38. This image is quite obvious. Or is it? Try turning it upside down. Then, the rabbit will turn into a man with a long mustache. 39. And what can you see in this picture? It might be a happy dog or an equally cheerful cat. 40. And finally, can you read this? You don't say, bad eyes? Okay, this level was actually mind-boggling but I'm looking forward to learning my results. If your score is 0 to 25 points, work more on your observation skills and you'll get better. If you've got 26 to 50 points, you have a quick eye. With more practice, you'll soon become a pro. If you have 51 to 75 points, you're as attentive as Sherlock. You can spot the tiniest details without much effort. But if you've got 76 to 100 points, wow! I can't but feel a bit intimidated. Nothing can escape your eagle eye. It's better not to mess with you.